Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to the Freak Show, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Season 5 of Battle Brothers. This is Episode 26. We're going to go at least to Episode 30. Then maybe we'll take a short break and a little hiatus before Battle Brothers 2.0.5.3 times 8. I don't know. It's going to be like the next giant leap in Battle Brothers kind, ladies and gentlemen, when the next patch hits. So we might take a little bit of a break, let you guys get all thirsty and hungry four of the battle bohemians we'll see anyhow first things first we must do battle with the hunting pack of death i don't really want to bring the caravan hands in but we'll we'll do it anyway i suppose it's going to be nighttime so our archerians are going to be quite possibly the most useless piles of a crap in the history of mankind or maybe not maybe they're going to be amazing I'm going to assume there's going to be some crap involved. That's that's just my assumption at this point. Whether it's true or not remains to be seen. There are several werewolves that are coming forward in which to slaughter me in a pretty substantially huge way. So, what are we going to do? We are going to be very upset that we don't have much of a shot. That's fine. Don't you go shiving people, man. You're going to end up dying if you start trying to shiv. 37% we missed, but then we hit the guy in the back, and then we actually landed our second shot, which is pretty darn impressive. 18% we missed the same guy again. It's, it's, it's okay. Alright. Stab. And we missed. We're terrible people. Super power during the bone dwarf. Go. Eh, three out of four hits. Not too mad. We're gonna super power you up now. Gunther! Oh, you are not as good as your compatriot. Shameful, shameful, shameful. Oh, and we didn't get the kill. And you're pretty banged up, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're a little bit you're a little bit smashed. Alright, we're gonna get some more murder death killing going on here. Come on up and stab it, stab, stab, stab. And then we're gonna come up a little bit further as well. Stab, stab. Okay, the double shiv is out and working. Alright, we'll come over here. Alright, decapitation. No, we didn't quite decapitate, but we did a decent amount of overk against the opponents. I can totally get behind that. Alright, sirs and sirettes, you can get over here. And I think that's it. Let's see what the wolves do now. They are swinging for the, well, our, our flesh. Not really the fences, so to speak, but our flesh. So there's that. It's a little scary. Not too bad, though. Alright. Okay. Okay. Don't hurt me! He's getting overwhelmed. No, nope, not completely. I would have thought he would have moved there. That would have been the better play. Oh, really? You're going to go Shiva Fool? That's your, that's your plan? The Shiva Fool move? I do not believe that is a good idea. We're going to take a shot at you. And oh my god, we just murdered our guy. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. And we missed the point blank attack because we're awesome. 44%. We missed the second one. That's not good. That's very, very not good. Oh, we didn't get that kill either. Well, I'm a little bit saddened by. No, don't move that. Oh. Okay, the attack is there, but it didn't do a whole lot, really. That's that's the play, huh? That didn't do much either. All right, the murder death kill on you, and that didn't do much. Hmm. If we move there, oh, that sucks. I should not have attacked. Well, that's not great. Um. Can I get a mulligan? I'm thinking probably not. Okay, well maybe we can win just through sheer awesomitude. Maybe. Oh no, that no. Oh, oh good. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, first it was a no. Now it's a definite yes. It's a definite maybe at this point, guys. Yeah. All right, let's swap you on over to your 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 sticky de poo of the sticky de poo, and you can sticky de poo the guy next time. All right, the sticky de poo is ready. 
we come down here. And I suppose we're probably ready to do a little bit of murder. 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 All right, the swings are coming out. The claws are flailing. They are swinging. They are going for the throat. They are missing the throat quite a lot. The murder death kill right there in the middle. Can we get the murder death kill over here? Yes, we can, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because we are the rookie rooks. That's right. The greatest mercenary squad since every other mercenary squad ever. That's right. Pretty impressive stuff. I, I don't... It's... 48% yes please kill our people they deserve it why they don't really deserve it but I'm going to pretend like they do because you keep hitting them and I don't like it all right hammer man come forward <laughs> and do a stab that's that was your stab huh? all right How about this yeah all right, so we got beat down a little bit. There was definitely some woundage and some pain and some suffering, a little bit of agony, possibly some bleeding. Uh, but that's okay. Wow, 348 experience out of that whole ordeal for you, man. You did a lot of work, apparently. Though you got less damage out. Well, you did kill three people, though. So I suppose that's pretty impressive. So you're at 183. You're not even number three. You're like number five. All right, so the top guy was Brof Brosephus, 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 a boomstick, or Brosephus, uh, at 316. Following that up is a 291 from Strong Pillow, though most of that was probably friendly fire. 234 from Durin, and then a 211 from Don Quixote de la Mancha. All right, so that's the first four, and then five is Pug, and it looks like six is actually a boar guild. Interesting. Interesting how much more experience you get for getting to other stuff. It's okay. Alright, and we are not going to be cold this winter, folks. Light or life size. Man size, unusually large wolf belts to keep us warm through the winter months. Yes, it is fantastic. Yes, it is. Alright, we're going to... We were heading west. This would be west. That's not west. This is west. You're welcome, caravan. Now deposit your cash monies into my pocket. I would like very much for you to pay me for my services. As is a custom in all these lands here. I mean, it's it's a thing that we do. Oh, you saved my life here. Let me give you stuff to show my gratitude. Or in this case, oh, you saved my life. Thanks, I guess. Eh. Ooh. You take a rest at the base of an enormous tree. Somehow the sun manages to sear a path through the forest canopy and blind your eyes. <laughs> Getting up to move, you run into Permamsi, the wild man. He's offering you a handful of various questionables. Mushrooms, flower petals, berries. With a grunt, he ushers them toward your face. Sure, Permamsi. I'll take some of these. Surprisingly, the bits of forest food are actually quite good. Sweet, but not too sweet. And with a hint of oak. You thank Te Wildman for his gift. He rises high into the skies. The skies of all things, shaking what are now branches. You had earlier mistaken the were human arms of humane purposes. Uh, cats rain from his mouth as he speaks. His tongue is in a language of marbled letters floating before his lips in... And in great size for sentences. Feeling good about his graces, you give him a wave. A weave, a wave of your hand, but find your fingers are also hands, something you had not noticed in the befores. In the shock to your beliefs, your memories of childhood flooded with the fleeting feet rocking your crib, your domain, your castle, all lies. All of it. Blackness comes, the darkness smiles. You awake on the ground, spicy MC Nico gently dabbing a rag of water over your forehead. He's back, you all right? You can't quite remember what happened, but your mind is desperately telling you not to ask. You nod in simple response and get the men back to marching. Don't eat twigs and berries, apparently. It's not good for you. Or mushrooms, I guess. All right, we are in the forests to the west of Dulmin, and I do not see what I am searching for. I shall search a little bit further. I mean, we do have a little bit of cash, a little bit of food, a little bit of stuff. 
We're not completely crushed, hurt, or dying at this point, so we have time to fiddle in the forest. That's right, fiddling in the forest is very similar to frolicking, but not quite the same. Unfortunately, I believe we are going to have to head west, very, very, very far west, across the river and into the other forest in which to find the Browbreaker's Camp of Doom and stuff. Well, this is pretty poopy. Poopity doopity doop doop. Let's uh, double check and make sure. That is not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Uh, forest west of here. Well, we just went through the forest west of here and we came up empty handed. We came up short. We are not happy. How far west do we have to go? I mean, like, there's some forests over here. I mean, it's not fantastical. All right, we're going to go gather into these little wooded areas over here and see if there's anything. If there is, fantastic. If not, we're going to cross the bridge, go over here, and then eventually over there. Well, this is the end of the map and probably the only remaining places in which this place can be. The brow breaker's cap shall fall before the might of the rookie rooks. Well, folks, I hope you are enjoying uh, the last vestiges of good old Battle Brothers. Again, I'm showing you guys stuff that's probably going to end up... I mean, a lot of it's going to change. I mean, keep that in mind. But stuff that you're going to have to do in your own playthrough. Like, I've already replaced one person who didn't die with a better person that was very expensive, by the way. So that is something you're going to have to do once the game does have an eventual end game and all the stuff is actually unlocked and available to us. These are decisions and choices that you're going to need to make, and that's kind of my goal every time we play. First off, to play and have fun, because, you know, this is Battle Brothers, it's amazing, right? Secondly, it's to show different strategies and things that you have to, can, or should do. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I'm, I'm not claiming to be uh, the greatest person to ever walk the face of the planet and play the game. I do have a lot of fun, I have a pretty good understanding of what the game has to offer. I'll still whine and complain about certain things, like the goblins seem like they were way too powerful. Well, this sucks. Um, I guess we can fight these guys. I was really hoping to find the place we were looking for, but if we must slaughter this, we shall. Alright, there's eight of them, and I think there's only two marksmen? Something along those lines? Two, four, six, and the double marksman. Alrighty. I like that. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to hear some more amazing uh, Breakdown Epiphany music. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. Technically, it's Breakdown Epiphanies. But, you know, I figured I, I could singleize it and reverbalize it and stuff, but it's not the case. It's fine. All right. Well, Baldy McGee has moved forward and wants to battle me, but I think we're going to pass on that for now. You get to stay right where you're at, Baldy McGee. No, you're gonna die. Oh, come on. We did like 99% damage to the guy. Really? Really? That's what we're bringing to the table? Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna bring his face to the table. There it is. Lovely and disgusting all at the same time. Alright, what do we have? We have Knife Man McGee up here. Knife Man McGee attack! Not quite strong enough. That's okay. We're going to go here and be like, Curse Flatchety, yeah, where's your hat? You ain't got one, I know. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. All right, Axe Man, get on over here. I know he's going to stop short. It's okay. You die. <laughs> we take to the high ground. I feel like we're missing someone. Is it you? No, it's you. Sarazington Raswell. Alrighty, let's move on a little bit closer, shall we? <laughs> Alright, we're going to take the high ground here, and we are going to shoot you off of your perch, buddy. That's right, you want to get on the high ground? Get on my level, which isn't going to happen. You are going to go back to crossbow matude, which is a very bizarre way of saying crossbow action. Alright, we're going to see, can we? No, we can't. Because bags and belts wasn't a thing, I think, yet, or something. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. All right, we're going to move here and stab you because you are, you have stinky face. We do not like your stinky face, so we will attack you and do multiple bad things to you. All right, now they all get a chance to 
redeem themselves. They're like, hey, we're thugs and we're raiders. You can't handle us. We got marksmen on our side. We are going to shoot you down from a distance. Are you, though? Are you? I mean, sure, there's some stabbing. There's a little bit of woundation and, and hurting and whatnot. But, I mean, really, it's not doing a whole lot. Like, I feel like you guys could probably get a little bit more oomph out of your uh, attacks and such if you weren't such little sissy weenies. That's right, I said weenie. Wamp. All right, I am going to go right up on you. Yeah. All right, we're going to reload and murder. And we missed because we're terrible at doing things. All right, we are going to murder you a little bit. Not tremendously. It's like slightly murder you. Maybe slightly more. Come on, land it, land it, land it, land it. Strong pillow. You fail at life, brother. You fail at life. All right, unfortunately, can't do the double swing over the top. That's okay. Hmm. Oh, I think that's okay. We got a singular stab there. And a miss over here. And, oh, we decapitated him with a knife. That's pretty impressive. You have to admit, that's pretty darn impressive. Knife decapitation. Really, dude? Really? That's that's your play, huh? <clears throat> well, apparently our people cannot land. Oh, you done left yourself open to get wrecked. All right, I'm a little concerned down here. Not that bad, but a little bit. All right, let's take to the high ground here. Why not? That's going to give us clear lines to these guys. Oh, we got a chance to redeem ourselves. Spicy MC Nico, make it happen, buddy. 74% say what? Ugh, oh, you make me sick. You literally make me ill. Don't hit your own guy. Yeah. Sir Razington Raswell doing some Razington work. Ouch. All right, hopefully you're not hidden behind the tree. Because if you are... We are not going to be happy. Aha! I said aha! There we go. We got a little bit of damage there. Oh, really? You guys are going to be like that, are you? Alright. That's cool. Cool. Yeah, how did that work out for you, buddy? Not so great, huh? Yeah. That's kind of what I thought, my friend. Alright, well, we are just looking quite so lead right now we're about 17 minutes in I mean we still got a lot of stuff to do we still have a lot of the map to explore considering this place seems to be nigh impossible to find or at least nearly impossible all right we're just gonna skip your turn altogether you are going to move here and blockade your compatriot in good old per mamps or per mamsy we're gonna get you into position meet you a little bit closer I suppose and that's it all right, can we land the shot without murdering our own allies? Yes, we can. Finally. Spice is like, you know, I wanted you guys to think you were going to get the extra kill. I was going to let you get some experience out of this whole ordeal. And, and then, you know, the leader, good old Bumpy, had to start mocking me. So I had to show him what's what and land that shot. It's cool. It's cool. All right, taking a look. 254, 238, 215, 184. Eh, I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of damage done at all there. We do have multiple level ups, which I should probably take care of at some point. I will try to by the end of this. We got a little bit of everything. I mean, nothing fantastic, nothing horrible. Eh. Stuff. Just stuff in general. Alright, I shall press C. In the sea of pressing, I shall repair many things. And make them delicious. I don't I don't really think they're gonna be delicious, but I you know I can pretend. Alright, we really need to start doing some battle with some of these, like, nastier guys, which I'm terrified to do, by the way. If you hadn't guessed, I have been holding off for a reason. I'm scared. But, yeah. We definitely need to be doing some stuff with the nastier, evil people that want to kill us. Because, if we do, we might get epic items, and then that will make us quite a bit more powerful. Once per battle, killing an opponent reduces current fatigue by 30% of the base maximum fatigue. Someone suggested that this was an item, skill, or an ability that I wanted. I will test it out and see. Alright, we're going to go over here. We're going to go down here. We're going to go up to 20, I think, and then we're going to stop. 
which is going to be about maxed. Um, sure, why not? Yeah. Borgild. Hmm. I believe we need to increase your effectiveness versus armor. Of course we're going to go down the offensive tree, guys. Come on now, you know better than that. We went pretty heavily down the defensive tree, but we're going to go back for the offense, because that's how we roll. That is how we roll. All right, that is a sweet, sweet, nice style. Gunther! Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. Bags and belts. Eventually, I'm going to go with Pathfinder for now. Why? Because we need to be able to find those paths. It is a true story, folks. True. True story. All right, we're going to do that. Man, we are really low on the HP front. It is unpleasant. Permapsy! What's up, brother? All right, the indomitable... Um, eh, it'll return the favor. 50% chance to stun any opponent missing a melee attack. You are rather dodgy, so this may be a good play for you, buddy. I think you're going to be the one. You're going to be the one with a one-handed weapon in two hands. Why? Because you can. Also, you're a wild man, so that there is that. There is that working for you. You are very bad at dodging arrows and projectiles flying into your face, though. Just something to be aware of. All right, we need to pump some more hit points. All right, what are we looking at here? So Razington, Raswell, the Razin. Quick hands. All right, simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Are we at the 20? Oh, gosh, we're nowhere near 20. That is pretty darn bad, but that's okay. Why? Because I said it was. All right, so that is all well and good. Everything is done. Sweet, sweet, nice style. We've kind of explored the vast majority of this place. I mean, we can probably go up here and then maybe down in this area, but that's about it. If we don't find this place soon, I'm going to say it probably doesn't exist. And that these people lied to me about the Brow Breakers Camp of Doom. It could also be anywhere up in this area, too. The west is a pretty broad direction, so, I mean... There are options available, so there is that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to head down. I'm going to try to control my character's uh, movement or the army's movement here. They seem very, very keen to go back this way. I'm not sure why specifically, but they're like, I don't want to walk through the forest at night. It is a scary place, and I do not want to wet my huggies. Guys, it's a little bit late in life to be wearing Huggies. Also, Almor is under attack by some sort of horrible, horrible monstrosity. Could be orcs, could be goblins, could be undead, it could be giant boogermen. From the planet Nose. I don't, I don't know, guys. It's fine. Where are you, you bloody darn Cap of Doom? Where are you? I would very much like to meet you and then slaughter your fa- oh, We don't have to slaughter. All we have to do is find it. All we must do is find it, Master. Come on. <laughs> so, alright, let's go play an Almor, I guess. There's clearly something going on and we're going to have to deal with it. Let's zoom in so we can see better. I want to eat the juicy spiders. Oh, Orc Raiders. You fools, don't you know what's going to happen? I'm going to murder you, and or I'm going to go to town for absolutely no other reason than to go to town because I'm there. We'll buy up some food? Why not? Sounds totally legit to me. Oh, you think you're going to run away? Seriously, dude? Come on now. Oh, there's a... Th man, they are actually pretty quick. Stop running! Yeah, ooh, some goblin wolf riders and the or okay, this is going to be interesting. So we have orcs and we have wolf riders and somehow we're going to have to guard our people or are they battling each other? They're all kind of the green skin army, so you would think that they wouldn't necessarily want to murder each other. That is a thought that has occurred to me. I am very terrified of the wolf riders. They can definitely make some bad moves. Worse, that's, I believe, how the the only person that we've lost thus far has been a wolf rider attack onto a ranged unit. Was not particularly great for us. So there is that. We must protect our ranged individuals. It sounds like they are really going to battle with one another. They do seem pretty... Up Aha! We found some of them. They do seem pretty upset. We're going to attempt to take the high ground. Ouch. Sorry, guys. 
My knuckle was hurting. I had to pop it. It was an unpleasant feeling, to be sure. Like, I crack my knuckles a lot. I mean, that's a thing, right? But, yeah, not when it hurts. When it hurts, and then it hurts to more because you got to crack it because it hurts. It's not great. It's okay, though. I have survived it, and I'm okay. There is a lot of animosity between the two green skin uh, groups. I'm not going to lie. It's a little off-putting. Like, can't we all just get along? You'd think that would be like one of their saying. Man, they are just going to town on them. Look at it. I think the orcs probably have the advantage. I mean, the, the goblin riders, they got the speed, but they are not really all that powerful. And look at the blood on his club, so you know something's going on. Alright, the wolf rider's like, oh my god, the gorks are so strong. I think I called them the gorks. That's fine. Oh, the wolf is trying to man up against them. I don't know if that's the play. Oh, get handled. What? Oh, please land this. Oh, come on. 46%. You failed me. You failed me, Brohim. You failed me. Alright, we shall edge ever closer to the ultimate goal. Oh, he is stunned and destroyed right now. There's like 19 guys somewhere. I mean, I'm a little off-put by this whole situation. Okay, we killed the, the wolf. That's... Not really what I had in mind, but I suppose I can accept that. Alright, we're going to move forward. They do seem to have a high ground advantage, and I'm hearing other nasty sounds happening all over the place. This is definitely not the fight I thought we were going to take, but I, you know, I suppose I'll, I'll accept it. It shouldn't be too bad. It might be absolutely awful. It could be the, like the worst thing ever in the history of mankind. I don't know. Oh, there's a death! That doesn't seem good. Alright, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? We're looking at you coming on up to the front line. We're looking at you coming on up to the front line. And tying the goblin into combat with us. The wolf rider's heavy armor has been destroyed. That doesn't sound good for the wolf rider at all. Alright, the goblins are beating them down. Oh man, they don't have much of a chance. Oh, get dodged! What? You see the dodginess? That was amazing. All right, we're gonna scooch on forward a bit. All right, that's it. This guy's gonna try to man up on. Well, he, he hit the correct target. Oh, get speared in the back, buddy. Hey, he may be outnumbered. He may be in a pretty nasty spot, but he is still manning up and handling business. So you gotta give him credit for that, at least. And nothing else. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That seems like a bad idea. I wouldn't be 100% opposed to moving here, maybe, and shooting this guy. <laughs> You're welcome, Goblin. Who knew that at some point in this game I would be helping Goblins slay Orcs? It does seem a bit counterproductive, considering how much I dislike and despise Goblins. Oh, hang in there, little Goblin. Little Gobby Gob. Hang in there, brother. All right, I think we're going to wait there. Are they going to man up and attack us? It looks like they're thinking about it. Oh, but you done made a mistake, cuz. You're not really my cousin, but well, maybe. I've had some angry cousins. They get all, like, rage-filled like the Hulk and whatnot. I mean, that's a thing that can happen. All right, we're going to go up there and be like, what's up? We are here now. What are you going to do about it? And we're going to be like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And stuff. I don't I don't know. Let's get up here too. Yeah, we took to the high ground. Woohoo. Okay, I'll take the high ground up there too, sure. And you get to come over here and pin this dude in. That's your play. It's fourteen to twelve at this point. They are still battling amongst each other. They now see me as a pretty big threat, but think, oh, the goblin's down. There may be a wolf still in here, I'm not entirely certain, but I think we still have the advantage right now. Oh, I could have attacked. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a noob. It's fine. Alright, can we move here? Oh, we totally can. Oh yeah, the goblin's there, the wolf rider, all of it, the whole thing. Hey, we're helping you guys. You better, you better side with us. Yeah, we missed that shot. Alright, let's see here. Take a shot at you and miss. Hey, the second one landed. 
Yeah, you attack that orc. Goblin power. Fight, fight the orc man. All right, doing some backline damage there. Oh, a little bit of chip damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, what are we gonna do here? I think I'm just gonna go maybe super wide with him. Oh, we got pinned in by this guy. Well, that's okay, I suppose. All right, we broke through his hat. We're going to super power charge ourselves and slice and splotch and splooch, and there it is. Death has ensued and victory is ours. Not quite yet, but we're getting closer. I'm not sure where the rest of them are. It sounds like there's more battles up in this general region, which I am not a massively huge fan of. All right, we're gonna do some more chip damage here. Oh, you are afraid. Now you're no longer alive. All right, let's say goodbye to your head, but we can't because your head stayed on its shoulders. I know, shocking. Aw. Oh, the still very, what just happened? Oh, he is going nuts after that guy. All right, that's cool. Well, it seems like the orcs are definitely on the winning side of this right now. Alright, we're going to scoot in a bit closer. And I think chilling there is not such a bad play. Alright, I think we just end it here. Alright, what's next? Well, we're going over the 30 minute mark, guys. Yeah, this is definitely not the fight I was planning to take, but I, you know, it's, it's got its merits. Alright, 59%. Oh, we landed and knocked the living poo out of that guy. I mean, literally, he is just like... <laughs> Sounds like goblin anger, goblin rage is going on. I'm getting wrecked. I'm trading a little bit, but not very effectively. 40%, 55%, and handled. Toodles. Alright, uh, we're gonna wait. Alright, unfortunately, that's the play that we have to make. I know, it's crappy. It is simply the play. There's eight remaining. There's one here, two, three, four, five plus six and doing a little bit more chip damage seven we're gonna come over here and you should officially be done all right you had a pretty big hit there And another pretty schnozzy hit there. Gonna put your shield up, okay. We're going to stab you in the face hole. It's going to be quite good. It's going to be quite good in the hood. Alright, we're gonna chill there. We really gotta move most of our guys into a different spot. We are not really I wanna say positioned well for this particular moment. Alright, we're gonna take to the high ground here. These guys are all gonna move out. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six that we see. Now oh, there's five that we see. Alright, bring it on, big man. Bring it on. We have one invisible hidden opponent here somewhere. Preparing to do something, some way, somehow, to someone. Maybe. Alright, you know what? There's a pretty good chance we own our own guy, but Sir Rasington Raswell says he's got this. I believed him, but I suppose I shouldn't have. Alright, we're gonna make our way over here nice and slow like. And then we're gonna come over here and be like, I pinned you in, what you gonna do about it? Hey, there's our final individual. Welcome abroad, sir, welcome abroad. Let's get on over here. Good old Permamsi, the wild man, come this way. We're going to chop you to bits, and the bits are there. Okay, we're going to get a Borg Guild there, Durin the Bold Dwarf. Borg Guild is what, the uh, the shameful, right? Yeah, 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 the shameful, the shameful. Alright, let's get on over here, just in case we all needed to do mass moderation. Alright, going to attack, I suppose, you... And totally miss because we're awesome. And I guess move up and stab and hey, annihilation. Very nice. All right, so the the orcs are gonna be all like, we got javelins. Uh. 
and we're going to fire on the javelin orc. We're going to do a little bit of chip damage, not too much. This dude's looking for a way to get to our Archerians, and he's coming pretty close. I feel like we're slightly out of position here, but not necessarily in a, like a horribly, overwhelmingly bad sort of way. Alright, I think I can probably swap you after we take the shot. Get knocked back! Or over or something, it's fine. Alright, we can't hit you yet, but now we can. Bam! 77%! We said nothing because you completely survived it. But boy, oh boy, did we seem impressive for a brief moment in time. Our moment in history. You are now officially retired, sir, for this particular combat. Nothing else for you to do. Alright, you can come over here and... Oh, hi, you're still here. I forgot that we didn't murder you yet. <clears throat> Intended! All right, we're gonna come on over here, and I no, I don't want to go that far. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. It is mistake. It was a mistake. All right, we're going to swap you out, and that's it, I suppose. Okay. Well, we have done what we've done, and that's, I guess, about all that we can do. Oh, you little shyster. Alright. I'm gonna end you. Whoa. Okay, they're actually starting to flee at this point. Well, kudos to them, I guess. They finally see the writing on the wall. And it is not pretty for them. They do not like it. They're like, but well, wait a minute. We ain't done yet. We still want to do murder. Please, let us do murder. Ooh, you stunned my big man. That's impressive. Yeah, but you know what's not impressive? is just about everything else. Literally everything else is not impressive. Alright. Whatever. Come on, just skip it all, skip it all, skip it all. Hey, you're back. Hey, nobody cares. Hey, you're dead. Woohoo! Alright, we're going to get a little bit closer, and these two are just going to retreat. So I think I'm just going to F spam our way through. I could probably just spacebar spam, actually. Well, that's a spacebar spam. Spacebar spam. And it will soon be time for us to break off the episode. In fact, as soon as this is over, it will be time. And I cannot shoot you because you are too far ahead of me. Oh, my goodness. We're really going to have to... Really? Oh, I was so confused there. I'm like, there's no way. All right, we're just going to F-spam our way through, folks, and uh, the last of the orcs will make their retreat, and we will be done with this combat, done with this episode, and done with life. No, we're not going to be done with life, guys. Life will and must go on. All right, we got another double level up. Not too bad. Quick glance for MVP. It looks like it is you, Gunther the Bear. You are the MVP. Spicy MC Nico is number two. Alrighty, we got a whole bunch of stuff, and I am liking that. And unfortunately, our whole goal, our whole mission, our whole objective this time around was to find this place, and we have not done so. But we did a lot of other stuff, so there is that. Anyway, folks, I'm thinking we'll at least get to level th level 30. We're going to at least get to episode 30, see where that puts us in the grand scheme of things, and then we'll see if we want to continue or just wait until the new stuff comes out. XCOM 2 is also coming out, ladies and gentlemen, come, um, I think it's February 2nd or 5th or something. I don't know the date. I don't care specifically what date it is. I'll find out before the next episode of this. Anyhow, uh, that is definitely going to be something that's going to take up a, a large portion of the time, but I will still make room and prioritize Battle Brothers when it comes out with the new patch. So there's that. Anyhow, I'm going to try to scramble, even though it's already pretty late in the month, I'm going to try to scramble and get everything done and ready to go and have a little bit of breathing room before XCOM 2 comes out because I know what a, a bear and a beast that's going to be. So I'm going to try to finish HOM, I'm going to try to finish XCOM Long War, and I'm going to be done with Season 5 of Battle Brothers. Then Season 6 will come out and a whole new ball game for everything, guys. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you next time with more Battle Brothers Season 5 of the Rookie Rooks. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.